It's a Calvin A. refrigerator. And I got this at an estate sale for $10. It's one of the old-fashioned type where it's just got the freezer compartment inside the refrigerator. It has no fans or anything. And this is probably the heaviest thing I've ever taken up the steps here. I actually had to lie it on its side and push it up the rubber treaded steps because I couldn't, I got it on the dolly but I just couldn't <laughs> pull that dolly up the stairs. I was hoping that this would be an American Motors made Calvinator but it actually isn't. It's actually made by White Consolidated Industries so maybe it's like a mid 70s model. It's a model SX or SX, SS, X131 RM. Yeah, it's made by White Consolidated Industries. And the freezer door, here's the freezer, but the freezer door got loose, or was broken when I got it, so I'm going to need to reattach it, but there, it's got some TV dinners in the freezer there, that's how the freezer looks like. It's got a nice 70s pattern on there on the ice drip tray. But it, it works just fine. Wish they wouldn't have wrote on a permanent marker though. They wrote sold. <laughs> This is an RCA portable TV from the 1950s. I got this at the same estate sale I got my Kelvinator refrigerator at. And these are really well built sets, but they're full of paper capacitors, so I'm not even going to try it until I replace all those caps. Here's another exact duplicate one, and this was one that was given to me by someone who read a newspaper about me in the, or an article about me in the newspaper about how I collect uh, old equipment. And so I got this one as a companion to it. This is a Westinghouse console radio. I also got at the same estate sale this weekend. It's got shortwave and broadcast, and these push buttons are from the Los Angeles area of California. There's KHJ, KFI, let's see what else, can't really see the other ones, but this would have come from uh, Southern California originally. And it's, an, and it's a neat design, it's got a little bit smaller top part than the bottom. Let's come around and take a look at the back of it. It's got two 6F6 output tubes, 5Y3 rectifier. It's got kind of a puny power transformer. And it's just a two gang capacitor, so it either has no RF stage or just an untuned RF stage. And the speaker is going to need to be replaced. I'll still save the old speaker in case I ever want to get a recone, but I got a couple of uh, field call speakers that I've salvaged from radios with really bad cabinets so I can replace this uh, speaker.